Hey, what's up? This is Doug with Design 8 Studio. And today I'm gonna to show you a little trick using two standard uh, affordable ballpoint pens with a pair of needle nose pliers and a heat gun to take the spring from one of the pins and add it at the back end of the other pin to create a spring-loaded um, pin for your CNC to draw with that will have a little, more, little bit more forgiveness for the really large 4x8 table that many of the Lowrider 3 and Lowrider 2 uh, CNC makers use. It can be really difficult on a table that big to not have a little bit of leeway, lack of flatness, and having some ability, some spring-loaded ability to accommodate uh, will help when you need to draw templates that help with mounting uh, large creations that your clients have asked for. And so I'll put a link in the description to my latest remix of the pen mount for uh, things like uh, drag knives and uh, writing pens and uh, diode laser modules. And one of the ways that we've gotten around this need of forgiveness on pin holders and drag knife holders is to make one millimeter thick spring leaves out of printed PLA plastic. Uh, and it pushes the pin out a considerable distance or the drag knife out a considerable distance away from the mount. Uh, but the flexibility of that PLA gives you that forgiveness. But if you want a little more forgiveness and you try to go thinner on the PLA, then you don't get forgiveness, you get breakage. And so that one millimeter thick spring leaf is a little bit too stiff for my needs. So I, I found a way to, to get some more forgiveness by adding a spring in. So the, the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and take this pen apart. We'll take both of them apart actually and many pens are made like this. Hopefully you can find some and this first one you'll notice that I've already done surgery on it in experimenting and I actually um, I actually chopped off a section of this one trying to figure out whether shortening the uh, the inside ink cartridge was the right thing to do and I don't feel like it is. So, but what we wanna target is just getting the spring out of one of the pins, and then we're not even gonna use the rest of that pin. Uh, what we're gonna do is only use one of the pins, but we're gonna put the second spring from the other pin into this one. And so the concept here is that you wanna take this original uh, unmodified ink cartridge and what we want to do is we want to put uh, we want to put a bend in it, and you'll notice how the factory one has a little kind of uh, little wing tips that have been put there under pressure. We can put some little tips like that of our own just by using a little bit of heat and the needle nose pliers. But what we want to do is we want to position that so that when the spring is sitting on those little leaves, about half the spring is still sticking off the tip. So I will take and I will hit this with a little bit of heat. And then I will simply squeeze with the needle nose pliers, good firm squeeze. And then let that plastic cool just a few seconds. But what you'll see is that when the spring goes back on, about half the spring is sticking off. Now I don't have quite enough. I went a little too far down. So I'll squeeze it again, a little higher up. There we go. So that, that spring is now sticking up off the end of that by about half. And so if I go ahead now and load this one back into this barrel, 
put this end back on here, you want all that mechanism in its unclicked state, like the pin is closed. That's the state that you want everything in before you get it all back in. Okay, so now you can see if you click it like you're opening the pin to write, you won't have any spring action. But if you leave it open, that pin is going to be projected down and that pin is going to have a, a spring amount, amount of spring give to it for when you put it onto your CNC machine. Now, that amount of spring is only working when I don't add this tip back on. But it's definitely giving, it's definitely giving a, an amount of spring retraction on that pin. So if I put my zip ties on here and put this one into my 3D printed pin holder on my Lowrider 3 CNC, then if I put this down, home it down onto the material, I could actually home it a little bit farther, absorbing some of that retraction. And if I hit a low spot, it would be able to spring out into the low spot. Uh, and then if I hit a high spot, it would be able to absorb that with spring action. So the idea is to find out how much travel your spring has added and then home it so that about half of that spring loaded uh, pressure is ample to push down and ample to receive upward. Uh, I hope that helps you. And just a, a neat little trick that I found. This is Doug with Design 8 Studio. And until the next time, I wish you happy making.